What is going on guys, it's Acorn Man back with another LEGO Star Wars comparison video. Today we're taking a look at both of the 501st Clone Trooper Battle Packs, the 75280 set released in the summer of 2020, and the 75345 set released in winter of 2023. Real quick guys, don't forget to give this video a like if you're a big fan of these sets or the 501st. And without further ado, let's get on to the comparison, and we'll start by taking a look at the minifigs. We'll start by taking a look at the standard 501st Trooper from the 75280 set, a very well done minifig and iconic for sure. Quite a few details on the chest, legs, and back as to be expected, with a standard blaster and a standard clone face underneath as well, shared by all of the troopers in both of these sets for obvious reasons. Next up from the 75280 set is the 501st Jet Trooper. I personally just really dig the design on this guy, maybe because one of my favorite colors is red and the red markings on him just really stand out to me but he is fully loaded with a larger blaster as well as a jetpack, and he is also very well detailed himself. And lastly, for the 75280 set, we have two standard battle droids. Really nothing to say about these. They're just your typical, everyday battle droid. Really, they're not going to give this set much of a one-up at all. And that brings us to our first minifig of the 75345 set, which is the 501st Clone Specialist. As you can see, he is very reminiscent to the standard 501st Troopers, with a few extra helmet details and some yellow markings on the chest. And in case you're wondering, his visor does move up and down, pretty much just as detailed on the chest, legs, and back as the 501st Troopers as well. Moving on to the 501st Clone Officer, very similar to the previously mentioned 501st Troopers as well, with the exception of a blue belt, as well as some printed on skirt pieces, which would have looked much better if we just got a cloth version of that, but I guess I would not have expected that in a battle pack, although even the plastic ones would have been better. But overall he is fine, also standing out from the previous Troopers with a smaller blaster and a range binder, and some extra blue details on the back. And lastly, for our minifigs from the 75345 set, we have the 501st Heavy Trooper, of which the set includes two and I have to admit I like these guys quite a bit, with probably the most detail out of all of these figures. I could definitely see why these are a lot of people's favorite, although I would have really preferred to see a cloth pauldron as opposed to just a printed on one. He has some pretty cool attributes as well, including his unique gun and his little backpack. Alright, now that we've taken a look at the minifigs in both sets, I have to give the win to the 75280 set. I think the standard 501st clone troopers are just so much better for army building, so much more iconic. And while I do really appreciate the variants in the 75345 set, and I'm definitely glad that we got to see them, I just don't think they lend themselves to army building quite as well. So with one point to the 75280 set, let's compare the builds. And here we have the builds from the two sets, I do have to admit they all look pretty darn cool together. As you can see, the 75280 set includes two builds, one being a bark speeder, the other being an ATRT. And the 75345 set includes one build, which is a miniaturized version of the AV7 cannon. The ATRT includes a stud shooter at the front, as well as two clips on the back, which can be used for weapons or binoculars or whatever. And the bark speeder includes two stud shooters as well. So if you're not a big fan of stud shooters, you probably won't be a big fan of these vehicles. Or as a lot of people have done, you could easily mod them. I would highly recommend that. And the miniature AV7 cannon from the 75345 set features articulated legs and a missile of its own, as well as quite a bit of detail for such a smaller build. I do kind of wish they would have stuck to the 501st colors for it though. It would have helped it to match the older 501st battle pack a lot better but that's just my opinion. Overall, I have to give the win for the builds to the 75280 set. It's just a no-brainer here. Those two vehicles are so much better for army building, as well as being in a much more accurate scale. Maybe that doesn't matter to you, but to me, it definitely makes a difference. The Mini AV-7 Cannon is cool, don't get me wrong. I'm just not exactly excited to go out and buy a bunch of them for my army. I feel like that would just look a little silly. But with two builds against one, it was probably pretty obvious who was going to take the win in this category anyway. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap up my comparison on the currently two existing 501st clone battle packs. And our obvious winner with two out of two points is the 75280 set, leaving the 75345 set with zero points. Although I really want to make it clear that this is not a bad set by any means, it really just had no chance to live up to the original which does have a heavy advantage being $10 more. But as I said in my review for that set, I really think the price point is worth it, so I don't really mind discounting that as a factor here. Overall, these are both really great sets, both of which I recommend you pick up at least one of. But as much as I really love both of these, I really hope we see some clone trooper battle packs that aren't of the 501st Legion. But I get the feeling it's going to be a while before that happens again. I think that's just about going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for checking it out. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you're a big fan of these sets and the 501st, and subscribe to the channel for more LEGO Star Wars content, and I will see you guys in the next one.